This is the first video in what are going to be a series of videos uh, about different tips that I want to pass along to people who are also getting over OCD. Uh, these are things that really helped me in beating OCD. Uh, and the first tip we're going to focus on has to do with sticky notes. I found sticky notes are so useful when you're managing change. And getting over OCD is really about managing a process of change. So often you're managing change at work, but in this case you're managing change in your personal life. And that's why sticky notes are so useful because they make change tangible and they make it persistent in the environment around you. That's really important because you don't want to leave change up to your brain. Your brain is the problem, you're, the problem that you're trying to fix. You don't leave it up to the problem to try and fix the problem. That doesn't work. So you want to take the change, the healthy change that you're going to make, and you put it on sticky notes and you put it outside in the world around you, especially in places where you often find yourself engaging in compulsive behaviors. So for instance, say you're often going on the internet at night and you find if you stay up quite late that you begin to engage in a lot of compulsive behaviors online and before you know it, it's 4 a.m. You still haven't gone to bed yet. So what you do is you say you put a note on the computer that says turn the computer off at 10 p.m. It's just a reminder there. Say, hey, get off the computer. You know that if you stay on the computer after this time, it's really difficult for you to exercise self-control. So help yourself out. Just give yourself a little reminder. You know, another one, a classical OCD behavior is washing your hands repeatedly. I know I used to do that all the time, so I, I found really useful. You stick a note right there, like wash your hands once. You put it on the bathroom mirror. Just to remind yourself, you're only going to wash your hands once. It doesn't matter what your brain says. It doesn't matter if your brain says, oh, but you're, you must be really contaminated right now, or it doesn't feel like you washed your hands well enough, or your hands don't feel hot enough to be clean. It doesn't matter what your brain says. You just do what the sticky note says. Right? Now, you still, it's still up to you to actually follow through on the healthy action, but what the sticky note can do is really remind you of what that healthy action is. You don't leave it up to your brain. You know what you need to do. So write it down and then remind yourself and just give yourself that little extra boost uh, that's going to help your willpower because it's really difficult uh, to act in a healthy way and not act in a compulsive, unhealthy way that's going to make you sick. It's definitely difficult, so give yourself all the help you can. Make change tangible. Uh, so that's tip number one. Use sticky notes.